Hi, thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm Ghost Prime. Check out the KO version of Browning. Now, Browning originally came out, I believe it was around 88. Uh, far too late for a gun transformer to come out of the United States. And it was part of Super God Master Force. And oddly enough, for a transformer, he was actually normal size. There was no mass shifting. So this is the size he was in the show. And he was a friend of a character called Cancer. Uh, who was a Decepticon human that had a transector that turned into what the in the U.S. was squeeze play, which is why the most recent squeeze play figure came with a small brownie. Uh, interestingly enough, he's not brown. The coloration in the cartoon made him brown. And he didn't really fire bullets so much as lots of random stuff. Uh, you know, it's Japanese uh, animation around that time. So it was, it's very much that. This was originally put out in MicroChange, and I'll be comparing this one with the MicroChange one in this video. So please like and subscribe, and without any further ado, let's get to the review. I'm gonna start out with a box of this KO. Now, there is no mistaking this thing for the original at all, because it's just a brown box with a nice rendition of the browning toy on the cover. He looks really good here, actually. Um, then on the side, you got some uh, tech specs. And on the top, just the toy picture. Not really much on the back. Another picture of the toy. Browning Destron M1910. That's really it for the box. He does come packaged inside the box in styrofoam. It says Browning on it. And getting it opened, he's in there with his accessories. So I'll get out the accessories. We have some bullets, which actually can be fired. But I don't know if I'm going to fire one. I don't want to lose any of these. Two fists, uh, one fist can be fired and one fist is just frictioned in. Two guns are exactly the same, chromed up, they're really nice. Two sets of stickers, both for an Autobot, which never really was. This was for the Diaclone style and they give him an Autobot, which is cool because it's red instead of blue. And this is for the Decepticon version. Uh, I might put some of these on, I'm, I'm on the fence at this point. Uh, comes with an instruction booklet as well. And of course the figure, I have him right now in his gun mode because I want to compare him to the original in this video, as you probably could tell by the title. All right, here is the original micro change and the Browning knockoff. Now there is one of these in red, like the micro change one, but this one is like the Decepticon version. In, in the cartoon, he was the blue, but he even changed his color to beige or brown. That's why they named him Browning. Uh, this is the original micro change version. So you can see here it says Takara MCM1910 Japan. And the copyright here on this one just says Browning. It does not say Japan or no copyrights at all. And it says it on both sides. On the other side of this one, it just says this. Now the copyright stamp is a dead giveaway whether this is a KO or not. And this is something that I'm glad they did. So you won't be picking one of these up and being like, oh, it's an original, and it's in such good shape. Um, because you can see it actually says Japan here. So it's not it's not the same. And I appreciate that when they're doing KOs, and not make them the same. Because then it gets things get confused uh, a lot. So here's the back of it. Again, I don't have stickers applied to this. There's the other side. You can see them like this. And they look really similar. This is sticking out because... This isn't mine, this is on loan to me, and I can't push that in. <laughs> um, I don't want to force it. I'll let my buddy do that when, he get, when, I, when I give it back to him because these things are, are kind of expensive on the secondary market. I don't, just don't want any issues with it. Little fragile things. But yeah, I mean, they are exactly the same size. And interestingly enough, so my friend brought his original, his actual Browning gun, and it's a little smaller than this. I wish I could have it for this video to compare, but it's actually a little smaller than this one. Uh, this is a little bigger than the actual gun is, which I found really interesting. I had no idea because I hadn't seen one in person. Uh, these are pretty cool. Now, one thing it can do is fire those bullets, and they are front loaded. And since I haven't taken any of the bullets off the sprue, I could use the fist. So this is the original Browning. Go ahead and load that up with a fist, pull the trigger, 
and it fires. That's really cool considering this is an arm. Here is the KO. Also fires. Uh, I think the accessories might be a bit of one of those things that might be hard to come by. It's hard to tell if it's a, a KO or not accessory. I don't have any accessories for this one, just the uh, KO parts, which do fit in this. So transformation on these is really awesome. Uh, it's really, it's a neat transformation. It's just really, really, really cool. So what you do is you pull out the back piece here and mine, this is tight, it's tight on both of these. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of similar things on this one. There you go, I had to do that off camera because it's really difficult to do. I don't want to break this thing, just got it. And then pull out the front as well. And that actually helps unlock this whole thing. So then we could just wiggle that up. You can see there's a lock there and a lock right there. So that to keep this in place. So now we have that to this, easy peasy for the rest. Pull those down, legs down. I think they actually lock. So this is real tight on the KO. The joints on this are really good. There we go. Joints on this are really, really good. You know, just pull those around. Kind of hides that trigger problem that Megatron has. And he has very large feet. Pull down the toes, which are metal. And the heel spool spurs there. Both sides. Turn this around. I hate that noise. Uh, I always feel like I break something. And there he is, in robot mode without his accessories. So let's get this guy transformed and I'll compare them. And here they are in robot mode. And as you can see, they are ex pretty much exactly the same. The only issue I have on the KO is this is a little loose as to where the chest on this one is perfect. Uh, it slides up really nice. Also, there's no factory applied sticker on this. It does come in the sticker set, which also, if I could get this to stay up, I might apply there, but it, it is a little loose. Other than that, all the joints are like really, really tight on this one. Super, super duper tight. Everything's super duper tight. And let's put the accessories on it. Uh, put that fist backwards. There we go. And so he has these big old fists and he's these giant guns and he can hold his guns here or there's ports on the top of his shoulders where he could have one kind of like a, a sh shoulder mounted weapon. Like that. Which again, it's a cool little thing. I love that. It is a, it is a really, really cool feature. Um, overall, let's get any close to these head sculpts. So as we can see, the heads look exactly the same. Uh, there's really no difference. I mean, let's go into this one real quick. Nice features. And pretty much exactly the same. There's not really a lot of difference at all. Like I said, you could tell by that copyright that there is difference. Again, I didn't put the stickers on, but everything else on this is really relatively exactly the same. And we'll bring in Generation 1 Megatron to compare it to. And it is a lot shorter than Megatron. So that's probably why he was used as a leader of the Decepticons and not him. It was because of the size. It is a lot smaller. So on to final thoughts. And now we're at the part where I tell you, do I recommend this? Absolutely. If you find this thing for a good price, I absolutely recommend this. This is a knockoff of, off of super high quality. And it doesn't have the copyright that makes you think it's original. It's way high quality, like it's higher quality than those uh, high quality reissue KOs you find all over eBay. This thing is super, super high quality and it's it's a really awesome figure to have. I'm super glad to find it. The original one is really expensive, especially complete. So it's getting more and more expensive for the micro change version. Um, these ones are getting a little bit more expensive on the secondary market as well, just because they're super popular. I would love them to do another run of these things. I'd pick up the red one. I highly, highly suggest getting one for your Generation 1 collection. Anyway, I appreciate you stopping by, and I'll see you in the next review.